Welcome everyone to a very special unboxing. So today I'm excited to share that I will be unboxing from my favorite Etsy shop, Wicked Wonders. This is the Witchcraft Mystery Box and I have been so excited to open this. So I thought that I would give it the ambiance it deserves. <laughs> so without further ado, I will use my trusty antler to help me break into this bad boy. Okay, I have gotten it open. So now, here it is, the unboxing. So let's see what Jenna from the Wicked Wonder Shop has given us today. All right, spooks and goblins and witches and Wiccans and all sorts of amazing fun people that are just in this little corner of the internet to have the most fun ever. The first thing we have to unwrap is the spring summer pot. What is that? Let's have a look. Spring simmer pot. Dried lemon slices, cinnamon stick, dried rose petals, fill your home with scents. Oh, this is where you put it on the stove and then you put uh, this mixture in the water and you just let it permeate the air in your home. I have wanted to do this for so long uh, around Christmas time, but I never have. So now I'm going to do a little spring cleansing on the energy in my home. So that is wonderful. I'm super happy to have uh, a little potion. <laughs> Let's see the next little thing here or big thing. Oh, I think it's a shirt or it's something cloth like material. <gasps> oh. oh my gosh. She is so funny. I, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Look at the top. Oh my God, I'm so thrilled. It says, I don't need tarot cards to know you're full of shit. <laughs> I love this. It's been very interesting actually connecting with Jenna at the Wicked Wonders shop because she's just a young woman and a business owner and it's just uh, really nice to find people in your tribe. I love this. I just went and got my tarot cards read and uh, I thought that maybe I would do a little reading as well for, for whatever, for whoever finds the video. And uh, yeah, just kind of do a reading for you, whoever you are. <laughs> So that is the shirt. I love the colors, very cute. Thank you. Wicked Wonders, oh my gosh. I can't wait to put that on. Put it nicely back in the box. Okay, so the next item in our witchy box is, ooh, I think these are, co oh, they're coasters. Oh my goodness, am I so far away? You can hardly see everything. I will be sure to, whoop not burn my hair. You see that one? That one's very cute. I like that a lot. Wow, those are beautiful. Very good. I'm gonna cinch up to that. Okay, the next item from our witchy box. Oh yes, Palo Santo. This, if you have never tried burning this Palo Santo, I swear on everything that is true in my life, this is divine. It is the best smelling piece of wood I've ever had the pleasure. I will actually post a little bit of information about it because there's a long history with Palo Santo and it's just, it's divine. It is amazing. And then I see here, oh my gosh, this is a little quartz. I think this might be a a rose quartz, I'm gonna guess. It could also be, I know it's white and I know amethyst is purple, but it kind of reminds me of amethyst. So I'll have to um, research what exactly this one is, but it could just be a white quartz as well. And I definitely have to look up what that is because I know amethyst is really good for uh, sobriety. So I'm not sure what the white stone's for, um, but I will look it up and post it as well. Oh, this is stuff I could add to my altar. I've been wanting to create an altar for so long and I just I just was never sure what I wanted to put on it. And I think just starting is sometimes the biggest step. So just putting something that really speaks to you and speaks to your soul. Um, even just having these two things here from someone that I know and that I, as a gift, I really like 
that idea, having stuff on my altar that was given to me. Uh, like this is my daughter's, this is my mom's. And I think that just brings in a lot of really loving energy to, to the space. Oh, a little pop socket. Look at that one. Oh, so cute. I don't know if I'm so far away. Uh, it's more the ambiance of the unboxing at the moment here. So it is a little Pentagon, but it is flowered up very sweetly. Oh, and a little magnet. Oh my gosh, my daughter is going to love this one. It's a cat. I really hope you can see everything. <laughs> and oh, the air freshener. Oh, right now I have Beetlejuice, but I'm going to switch Beetlejuice out for this one. I'm really worried about my hair catching up there. <laughs> you see that one, the witch? Oh my gosh, beautiful. And the next one is another air freshener with a little moon on it. Very cute. I actually wonder where all these shots get their amazing prints and pictures. Uh, I really love them all. Oh, and look at this, a little purse. Oh, it's a little lanyard. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's got pentagrams and a moon, everything on there. Very cute. Very good, those are cute little items. I love that. I'm gonna place them there for now. Oh, we got a box and these are Probably a mug. I love my mugs so much. And what is this mug? <gasps> oh my God. Okay, sorry. So this kind of looks like my outfit right now. Look at that. Amazing. I mean, right? I gotta say, this could be my sister here. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love the moon. That is something that I want to, can I set it there? That is something that I want to uh, change on my tattoo. So I have this one here with the fox and the owl and there's a moon right there. And I definitely want to get some more of that like moon, pagan, Viking kind of like feel to it. So that is uh, next on my to-do list my to become list. <laughs> oh my goodness, this feels really big and soft and squishy. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Shut the front door. Oh my God. I mean, open the front door, open all the doors. <gasps> Whoa, this is amazing. Let me just write the cutest little blanket. It's so soft. That was so wonderful. So I believe I got the medium size box and that came with four to six items. And I mean, they totally outdid themselves. I got this amazing shirt, which is like holy grail for me. I love this. Um, I'm actually gonna buy another shirt from the same shop. This one I never saw and this is instantly one of my faves. Um, I really love that. So that's two items there. The blanket's three, the mug is four. Then I got the little pack and that had the wood in it. It had the incense, or sorry, it had the wood, it had the crystal, and then it had all these fun little, um, you know, fun little things here. So that is amazing. One, two, three, four, five, and the coasters are six. And I have to say six really good quality items. I'll have to post how much I paid for the box. I got so excited getting ready to do the unboxing. I did not bring any of the information with me <laughs> except the box and all the items that I decided to bring with it. So I would just like to say thank you very much to this Etsy shop. I had a lot of fun unboxing it. I had even more fun dressing up for it. And I would say if you want to do anything that inspires you or anything creative in your life, I say go for it. Who cares? Who the fuck cares? Do what you want. Be who you are and let your light shine, baby. <laughs> Cause fuck, it's a lot of fun. If I could share any piece of advice, it would be to do what you want, have fun, and just go out there and experiment. I'm using this as my creative year and I am so excited about the things I'm creating, but I'm also excited to put myself out there in a way that I felt really scared to do before and overcoming that fear as silly as it is I mean I'm dressed up by myself in the woods and doing an unboxing like who cares right because 
It's just something that is getting me out of my comfort zone. It's putting shit out to the universe and, you know, maybe inspiring one person to to capture their fire and their spirit and to like and nurture that, right? And come into their own creativity and their own power and their stand on their own two feet and really become something themselves. I find people that follow their path and follow their passion, no matter what it is, are so inspiring and so interesting to listen to. They could be talking about finance, they could be talking about cement. It's so interesting to watch somebody talk about their passion and to follow their passion. And so hopefully me sharing a little piece of my passion with you will help inspire you to follow yours. And that's really what it's all about. I just wanna create, I just wanna make something and shoot it off into the universe and you know wherever it lands that's where it's supposed to land so i like i said earlier i would like to come back and maybe just do a little tarot card reading and get a in touch with the spirit world and and just have fun with it and uh yeah so if you if you like that if you like this tone let me know this was going to be a night shot but i will save that for another night Anyways, thanks very much for watching. I hope you had just as much fun as I did and I will catch you in another video. Bye.